Hello everyone, it's Joanna, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, thanks for clicking on the link. I post videos about beauty, plus size fashion, reviews, things like that, hauls. So yeah, if that's what you enjoy, please consider subscribing. If you are a returning subscriber, thanks for coming back and watching another video. Now this is November favourites. Just so you know, I'm going to be doing some kind of vlogmas, which is I'm going to try to post videos every day. I don't know if I will be able to. They might be vlogs. They might just be general content. Whatever it is, I'll try my best to try to have content every day. Now, let's talk about November favourites. I have some perfume for you, skincare favourites, makeup favourites, some food, some clothes, all sorts. Let's begin with the perfume, which is the La Vie Belle um, Lancome perfume, but this is the rose scent, um, and it just smells really, really, it smells like rose, but it's not overpowering rose, it's more like a powder scent, so if that's the thing you like, um, definitely check this out, and you know, now during uh, Christmas, you might find gifts, I don't think this one comes in a gift set though, but you know, check it out it's really nice scent if you're looking for a new perfume and if you're looking for a perfume for someone who likes the scents of roses and that's a great idea as a present then moving on I'm going to talk a little bit about some skincare products one of my favorite brands that makes it like more like a spa treatment and a great and at the moment they have lots of gift sets like if you go to Boots the Rituals counter has lots of gift sets and you can find them online as well. Um, I have been using the body lotion of uh, Karma a lot. Now Karma smells like a clean kind of soap scent. Its notes are holy lotus and white tea. It smells really nice. It, it stays on your body. It doesn't over, like it's not overpowering and it's nice and moisturizing. It doesn't make your skin irritated or anything like that. So I really like this one. And I also asked Father Christmas to buy me the ritual of, what's this called? Ayurveda, I don't know how to say it, which is their hand balms are really, really great. And this is Indian rose and sweet almond oil. So that smells really nice. It's, I think this is probably my favorite one from the rituals line at the moment. Moving on, I have this um, from, I think this is a, a UK brand, it's called Anli & Co, yeah, and their, their website is that, and they have uh, these little lip, collagen lip masks, and you put them on your lips and they are plump. I have been using these quite a bit, you know, on the weekends when I do my little skincare, and they're fun to use, and they do make your lips feel a bit plump for that moment, so it's not long-lasting, but yeah, if you want to try something for your lips, maybe that. Um, whenever my skin, I've mentioned this many, many times, whenever my skin is feeling... Um, uh, thirsty and um, not at all smooth. I use the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair. The packaging is like this. I brought the wrong thing. I haven't used these, but I've heard a lot about these. So facial radiance pads from First, First Aid Beauty. I wanted to bring the Ultra Repair Cream, which is a favorite, but I left it inside. But Generally, if you have like dry skin and dry patches and sensitive skin, you should check out First Aid Beauty because it doesn't irritate your skin and it's really, really nice. Um, a lip balm that I have been using quite a bit and I really like is, uh, is the Rose Petal Soft Lip, Bar Lip Cream from the brand Fresh. You just need a little bit. It's quite nourishing, nice and soft and... I have been using this forever and, you know, it's, it lasts for a long time. I just really enjoy using it. And if you're looking for, and it smells like rose, so there's a theme here. Um, but yeah, if you want to check this out and if you're looking for a lip cream, just try to, you know, go for that one. Um, a mist that I've been using and I really like uh, just to hydrate before I put on the rest of my skincare is the Sukin uh, Rose Hydrating um, Toner. 
and I like the mist it's fine and it, it does go on the face you know it spreads a bit but it's I don't know you can't see that but it's not like water it's more like a mist so it's not like you're squirting more, more water at your face so that's um, the toner I've been using and I'm really really liking now let's move on to something that is a a favorite but also a fail a fail because of the packaging because I've had a little bit of a problem with it now the product is really nice I love putting this on my face it's very glowy it's the by Terry uh, brightening CC serum so serum so this is great you put it on your face it's very glowy you can just use this and put a little bit of concealer and you're ready the problem I have is with the applicator I can't it always opens like this so it's quite messy and the thingamajig at the top just I can't get it unstuck so I end up using it like this having to take out the you know this so I don't know I wish the packaging was a bit better or I wish it was easier and that wouldn't be stuck there but as a product this is great and you can find lots of gift sets at the moment so check this out um okay lipsticks I have a couple because I like wearing lipsticks uh what I'm wearing this isn't a favorite but I'm wearing it and I thought I'd mention it anyway the brand is a favorite so it's Max Factor Elixir if you haven't tried this line they're very moisturizing quite long lasting they don't stick to your uh lips and I would compare these to the Clinique Pop which is one of my favorite lines so moisturizing nice pigmentation long lasting not uh, drying hydrating I think they have some kind of oils in them as well just to make them more nourishing so great line what I'm wearing is pure plum I'm not gonna say this is a favorite it looks nice but I haven't been wearing it all month what I have been wearing quite a bit is from Clinique it is um, rose pop which is this here it's a pretty red great for this season if you're looking for a nice red and I'll put it on my skin so you can see what it looks like there you go that is the red pure uh, this is called what's it called rose pop so that's a red color and plum pop which is probably a plum there you go that's plum pop I've used this a lot I've repurchased this great moisturizing lippies if you haven't tried the Clinique pop line you should they are very long-lasting they come with a primer in them so just a really nice lipstick if you're looking for that kind of moisturizing lippy and you're not bothered about you know reapplying your lipstick okay um when i went to sephora in greece i bought a new natasha denona um mini palette and i got the glam one so this is it and i just really really like the um, the, the natasha denona um eyeshadows so look how pigmented they are let's use the other one very very pigmented very very pretty so uh, it's a favorite it's really nice I haven't used all the colors but I'm sure they'll be fine what I have used a lot again from Natasha Denona is the nudes palette so this is the nudes really nice I've used that quite a bit and you know it's very creamy easy to blend and if you're not like really great at applying makeup like me these are really nice to work with great pigmentation you just go swipe and your eyes are like one and done ready to go um okay let's talk a little bit about food well actually not food junk food if you've been to home bargains you shall be able to get these these are amazing they're called capri they are wafers with a hazelnut and cocoa cream we have these a lot in Greece and if you just give me this I will just sit and eat it all so if you're looking for a nice sweet treat you should check that out 
Um, I got this bag from Accessorize, just a little shopping bag, and I like because it's cord and it has little bees and flies and dragonflies and butterflies, and it's a cream color. And you know, I don't have one in this color, so I thought that would be really. It's nice, and I've been using it, and it's really easy to scrunch up and put in a handbag, and then when you shop. You can then open it up. It carries quite a few things. I have probably forgotten something in there. But yeah. And then let's talk about um, two things. Two more things. These are not the clothing. But they're just the M&S uh, thermals. I got the white one. They're so warm. I got the white flannel fleece one. Which is really nice and warm and I just wear it whenever I want to wear something thin and then you know it doesn't it it, it it's, makes me feel warm and I got a black one which is a, a turtleneck and I just wore this plain with a little cardigan and it's really nice because it's it's the wrong way around but it's ribbed so you know you can wear these on their own so if you're looking for a nice thermal check out M&S they are around 15 to 18 uh, pounds. So that's all for now, guys. Thanks so much for watching. It would be great if you subscribe to my channel and help me grow. Give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment. What did you like using? And I'll see you on the 1st of December for sure for Vlogmas.